and found I hadn't got as much yeah. as I needed. Uh, where, yeah. where I got the snow from, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit yeah. oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Rich hello. Here. hello. This is Steve and Gary mm. down there today. And um, welcome. Uh, it's another one. We've got a bit of a bit of a doozy for you tonight, uh, wouldn't you say there, Steve? Yeah, there's quite a bit on tonight. So yeah, say, we've, got, we've got a guest, an actual we've guest. Got a guest. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, we've queued up some questions, so uh, we'll uh, <laughs> introduce Ben in a short while. But this start out whilst we're waiting for a few people to join us. Uh, we're looking back at our newsletter last week, Steve. Uh, the cog was the, the cog, one. yes. The cog was released, unleashed. We saw actually we cleared most of the pre orders the week before, so people got them early. So, yeah, yeah the official release was Monday this week. Uh, it's been really popular, and it's been great to see people building them. I just want to see people using them in games now. And, and, and and what they're going to do with them six cogs what are you going to do what game are you playing i want to see yeah. those pictured on the table absolutely yeah so, Russell Crowe so. and the invasion of england <laughs> yeah. well i watched i watched the uh, the king on netflix the other night uh, with henry the fifth and there's a bit in that where he's he's going over to france and there's all these these ships and i thought oh maybe someone's going to do that one to one scale <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you might be far off there. I mind oh. you, a few more than six in that shot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so the call. Oh, so that's that, yeah, we had the. We, we, haven't, we still haven't got it back from Gary yet, have we? Are we he's actually? Not, he's not. He's never going to give that back. You're not, behind, you're not getting this one, no. Uh, <laughs> he's never going to give that. I, I, I always get the sense when we do something, there's the odd kit where you think, nah, we'll never see that one. He's keeping that one. I'll need to get another one done. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's uh, going to talk me through how to uh, use the pens on that on the planking. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what, uh, to do too. Yeah. What else did yeah. we have, Steve? Uh, there was the the bigger A three um, hobby station. Indeed. System. That was pre. That's on pre order. So that's um, that's chugging away, and I think we start sending them out in a, in a week, ten days, something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, he, Rich has looked for his bit of paper. Yeah, I'm looking, for, looking for my bit of paper. It's somewhere on somewhere on. All um, oh, right, that, oh, that's really oh, good. That is. That yeah. one. <laughs> really good. The bigger one. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, a, we do an A two one next. Would be the, the next step up. <laughs> that in my shed. <laughs> <laughs> or through the door. No, it's been really useful. Really, really useful at the moment in here because uh, I've been doing a bit of a, a photo shoot. In the background there room's a mess but uh, is that something new no we're not talking about that till the end all right <laughs> <laughs> yes it is something new <laughs> yeah, well when, when i might switch cameras as well and just blow it all <laughs> no not yet not yet that comes at the end <laughs> uh so hobby tray get your order out the end of the month well near, before the end of the month yeah 24th i think it is isn't it yeah yeah what else was there what can we think of that was it because we were all excited about what was going to happen this week. Yes, of course. Yeah. We got distracted after oh. that newsletter went out by Gary going and showing us something top secret, which mm. has ended up in my room being painted today. <coughs> <laughs> so we'll talk about that at the end. But I think we should probably look out for a guest. He's around here somewhere. Um, so let me just uh, ping uh, someone in the... Uh, <laughs> Is anybody there? Are we there yet? Yeah. Ben, hello. Hey, hello. hello. How's it going? We've got Ben. So, everybody, down in the bottom corner. Hello. We've got ben. And, well, Ben, introduce yourselves to us all. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Ben McIntyre. I'm part of the Clockwork Goblin team. Uh, we are the owners and creators of Conflict 47 and a few other things as well. <laughs> Fantastic. And we've got you on here for quite a specific reason. Um, but before we do, tell us, or some of our guests, uh, some of our people who are watching are not likely to have seen any of your conflict stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about the background and what's going on? Absolutely, I'd love to. So uh, Conflict 47 is a game set in an extended history, World War II. So just like in our real world, um, World War II happened, but middle of the war, there was 
little incident, shall we say, with a Los Alamos uh, nuclear test, and a tiny little rift in space was created. Um, and stuff started to happen because of that. And shortly afterwards, uh, after a fairly spectacular nuclear ding dong, um, there was another one appeared in Dresden. So uh, yeah, and then certain scientists from all around the world from different factions started to pick up on interesting bits of technology and certain bits of kit that would work better when they were nearer the rifts. And uh, it continued the war quite so a bit. The voices from the rift. <laughs> well, okay. what is the rift? No, you're not going to get it out of me. There's there's a lot of speculation. <laughs> there's a fair amount of speculation as to what the rift is, um, and what the nature of the technology or the information that might come from the rift. Who's on the other side of the rift, giving that information back? Now, it, it would be unfair of me to say. Yeah, it's interesting because it's not benefiting one side or another per se, because they've all got slightly different takes. Except for the Russians, Nick, what they can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's it's almost like some sort of proxy, and you know, people trying to affect it, and the situation developing as it goes. Well, that's fantastic to hear. And you contacted us because there was uh, something that H started, I think, a little while ago. Yeah, Mr. Parker, who is no doubt in the chat, telling me, yeah, he is there, saying no secrets. It's far too late. <laughs> So I've, been left, more out. <laughs> I've been left unattended. That's it. Come on, then. Well, I am open to bribes, by the way. If anyone would like any specific uh, secrets, I'm sure we can sort that. <laughs> but, but yeah, so um, uh, H, one of the other owners of uh, Clockwork Goblin, uh, mm -hmm. along with, oh, Chris Hale, who is in fact there now. Fantastic. Um, so we've, uh, one day, a comment was made in the past. Re referencing a place called Hut 13. Um, now, in in our law, in our world, Hut 13, it looks quite a lot like... Oh, hang on, which way? That way. There. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, Hut 13 is a place that you definitely don't want to go and visit. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, uh, so this it's developed into something quite spectacular. Um, helped by our fantastic community who have really taken this on and uh, it's been so well received that we felt it needed a special place and uh, and we now have a special place and it's sat next to me. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. it's actually sat next to Steve because Steve <laughs> happens to have well, a small saint, I hope so. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was a lot of build-up for a little time. Yeah. To see so there we go. <laughs> so... Now, strangely, if I don't know if I should give away too much, but it would seem that when you open it... Yeah, what's inside? Who knows? No one's come out of there alive, let's put it that way. There seems to be some doors to other places as well. Ooh. Now, it would be remiss of me not to point out that Hut 13 is not just what you can see. There's oh. going to be far more to Hut 13 developing oh, yeah. over the coming months and years, I can assure you all. Uh, this is very literally the tip of the iceberg. There is plenty more where this came from. Now, that's intriguing. Now, everybody, we've got a bit of a special, which, uh, Ben, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, we were allowed to put up for sale today a very special Assault on Hut 13 offer. Uh, which I believe we got from Chris and H a scenario. We do indeed. It's a fantastic scenario. And uh, you very, very generously and uh, kindly put together a great bundle deal to play that out on the tabletop. I think H is probably even now currently furiously painting away, trying to get uh, his <laughs> set done. <laughs> oh, I think he might have sent a picture of what he was doing uh, into us. So we'll see if we can flick that through in a moment. But uh the uh, the scenario itself is uh, quite intriguing, isn't it? It's uh, the uh, secret uh, missions of uh, someone's managed to get some photos out, and we've been seeing yes. that on Facebook, I believe. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the the Allied forces seem to be organising an assault. Yeah, definitely. Well, there's clearly something important there, right? Or it wouldn't be all fenced off. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and why so, 
why disguise a building like the rest of the barracks with but with brick in the windows that's uh intriguing they're just really anti-social that's, that's uh, all it is there's, there's <laughs> nothing there's <laughs> nothing wrong they might they might have some delicate antique furniture that they just they, they're worried about getting some sun that's damage on you know yeah, yeah exactly that exactly that now on the fourth list he might be the uh, defenders <laughs> oh well there's a, a the thing with heart 13 is we've never delved deeply into what is in there and who's who's guarding it defending it and why right. so uh <laughs> any weird and wonderful rift tech creatures units perhaps that's in there and uh i don't want to give too much away but there will be more things that people have not yet seen from us that will be heavily involved in the defense of part 13. oh that sounds like new that, stuff that does along <laughs> the lines of new stuff, doesn't it? Oh, everybody, new, make new sure you get and uh, get them to get that new release stuff on the roll out the door as soon as they can. Absolutely. <laughs> um, now, of course, what we'll be doing is including the uh, the uh, scenario in full uh, in with the instructions. I believe. Yeah. Is that right, Steve? It is yes, it's incorporated into it. There's a couple of little posters and things as well. So it's uh, it's a, a really nice little set. Fantastic. And we, we we might we might do some further sets that will expand on it. Uh, Sorry, I've just plan. I've just been taking a closer look at that photo that H has supplied us. <laughs> don't don't tell him. <laughs> ah, shocking, shocking, Mr. Parker. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting now for all the furious screenshot grabs that people will be taking and <laughs> and just trying to find out what I'm talking about. Adams, yeah, the fall of Madonna with the big. Yeah, we need a poster <laughs> of. <laughs> Fantastic. So everybody, um, that's actually going live right now. Um, so we we have to. <laughs> God, who's sanding? <laughs> it's some maybe it's someone trying to dig their way out of the hot. Scratch <laughs> that's the one. One. Yeah. It, hey, look, I said there was something in there. I didn't. <laughs> uh, so. Hut 13, the assault on Hut 13 is now live and comes with a free scenario and poster sheet and lots of other goodies. In fact, I believe there's a bunker in there, um, the wire fencing, uh, I think in the background of the picture there that H sent us, there's a watchtower. No. <laughs> no, there's no watchtower there. Along. None at all. Move along. Move along. <laughs> so, Ben. Can you tell us anything about what might, can you allude perhaps to what might be in the pipework for a conflict? Well, um, so there's an awful lot planned for uh, for Conflict 47. We've been developing a brand new team of sculptors over the last few months. So we have uh, three new people now working with us quite quite consistently. We've been, we've got another half a dozen units, uh, characters and sculpts and what have you ready to roll. Um, no information as of yet on when that will actually be released, but uh, fear not, there is plenty in the pipeline. New units for everyone, expanding on what we've already created, and of course, working with yourselves. This is the first scenario of many. We've got, we've, we've all had quite a lot of conversations and sch scheming. Scheming is the only word I can use <laughs> as, to, as to what we can, uh, what we can come up with. Um, that might involve things, say. Uh, Trains, submarines, boats, harbors, docks. That, 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 that's right. Let's call it a <laughs> so Keep an eye on this and the development. Where do people need to watch? So you can see any of our news, uh, any all of the new updates and probably will be on the official Conflict 47 Facebook page. We also have a Conflict 47 Instagram, uh, Clockwork Goblins Instagram account. And uh, of course, anything we do with you guys, I've no doubt that myself, H or Chris will be back on. I probably won't be allowed on anymore. I'm not allowed on the I don't know, you've done quite well, but uh, I'm getting pinged from H constantly at the moment. <laughs> I was left unattended. This is maybe uh, what would happen. We can only blame Chris and H for that. <laughs> so I think we should probably wrap up with you, Ben, and say thank you very much for coming along. No thank worries. You. Thank you very much for having me, and I can't wait to, uh, to do some more. 
Excellent. Take care for now, then. Cool. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye. And as Ben heads off there, guys, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit. First, our first guest. Well, wow, what do you think, Steve? Yeah. Well, you, you, you reminded me of a young Graham Norton, I thought, to be no. honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. My three points won't say something about that. <laughs> yeah. What do you so, think, Gary? Uh, I think your design's gone down well with them. Yeah, cool. Good, good. I shall say no more about the inside, the underside, and the back end, but there we go. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that brick work. Well, uh, sure. anybody goes to the, uh, to the product, they'll find out because the picture's on there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, there is a lot more to come with Conflict 47. It's the start. Uh, for us, I think, uh, and for them, and I love the idea with the scenario behind it, and I hope uh, people uh, jump on board with that as we develop a few more scenarios with them as well. Yeah, uh, a pile of MDF, Rich, which has got something at the bottom of it at the moment. Oh, <laughs> no, don't, don't go down that route. <laughs> <laughs> I got given by Steve uh, yesterday a pile of MDF in a box. Uh, make that paint it because we're going to show it tomorrow night uh, uh yeah okay steve <laughs> now i know you've been doing some as well gary uh some of the test ones uh because we weren't able to in that amount of time get it cut and sent to you knowing what the post is like at the moment uh but i think if we can bring a sneak on a little bit of a picture we've got something very interesting to show everybody which will be out this sunday not just on pre-order, this one was actually going to be released. Uh, and yeah. it's a very snowy background at the moment. Oh, hmm. what's that? Oh, look a little spinny thing. That shocked you, didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, where's this come from? So, <laughs> oh, the frame rate's low. <laughs> now, Gary, can you tell us a little bit about this? Well, this um, comes from a CAD file that I disappeared for a week <laughs> with a granddaughter. And um, when I disappeared for a week, uh, Steve knows that I'll go off beast somewhere. And um, uh, I went and visited some castles and different things and did a bit of research and a bit of thinking and then pulled a CAD file that's been around from discussions Steve and I had. <sighs> that Five years. Years? Five years, I reckon, yeah. Five years. And uh, I then, because... We are so rammed with getting the cogs done, and this is where the pre-orders are coming from. I, the Alamo, and yeah, yeah, I, with the Alamo that's coming, and I just went um, rogue and yeah. got some stuff <laughs> and test cut. And this is the this is the release set, isn't it? So yes. yeah, the, the components that we're seeing spinning there are all from the upcoming release of the Ruined City. Yeah. Yeah, and it's an exciting name. It, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Because yeah, yeah. it's not just for any one game. I think uh, it's absolutely a, a stunning set. And because it's based on the train tile system, it's got complete manoeuvrability. You can completely change and can reconfigure um, to really get an uh, sort of the open courtyard feel of a castle or a really tight-knit, broken ruins of a, a ruined frozen city of some kind which is quite apt given that something is coming out very soon for um frost grave too i mean the, the crazy thing is is that the terrain tiles came from this concept yeah and then the alamo and the desert port and about some other bit in the background going <laughs> so there's there's yeah, all of that, like the Stalingrad factory. So this was the 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 idea that we were thrashing. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it came together, and then it kind of sat, and then something else was made of it, and then something else was made of it, and it's taken five years to actually do what, what the original idea was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I say, I've, I've been doing a bit of painting, and uh, they, it goes together, so it uh, slots together, if we're looking at it from the camera side too. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go rogue. Am I allowed to, Steve? Yeah? Uh, maybe. Well, I was going to ask Gary what the um, the holes on uh, the centre of these pillars are. Oh, the <laughs> holes? Well, they, they stack. It, and and things can get 
added to it and so um, up in snow there <laughs> I, I, as i said earlier i've been snorting snow today folks so it's a full um, now i think on that note we should leave it and say good night and you lot can have a chat about that <laughs> <laughs> i'm yeah. now i'm now that go on turn that camera off <laughs> <laughs> that's my photo shoot to show all the bits and pieces fantastic yeah. no, so i think we i think yeah i think next week we're gonna rich is uh I'm rich on is holiday. Not here next he's on holiday next week so he's uh so we're gonna aj's gonna join us and we're gonna do just a, a show and tell and show different features of the set um and, and the elements of it oh, that's so, gonna be Fun to watch. I yeah, won't so, back, but at least I'll be able to catch up on Facebook. Yeah, there'll be we're going to share lots of photos over the next couple of weeks. But the uh, the launch set, which will be fully able to be um, integrated into anything that comes, um, is going to be yeah. yeah chapter chapter one, and that's going to be available this weekend. And then we'll have regular releases to it. It's yeah. uh, it's a bit like the outpost. Yeah. So starting with this and then delving uh, high and low into uh, future options. Yeah, really, really flexible set. When, you know, when you look at all the bits and what you can do with it, it's uh, there's a there's a lot of mileage in it for people on the tables, and and as a couple of people have commented, it's got so many uses because of the the look of it. You know, ruins are ruins, but yeah, no. Yeah, well, I will see. Um, I would imagine that we'll uh, be getting our D and D campaign uh, delving into some cityscapes soon. We need to do that as well. Yeah, yeah. I I think uh, on that note, we're definitely going to have to say goodnight. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, we'll get drawn into it. But that's for next Thursday, guys. And yeah. uh, for those who can't watch it straight away at uh, ten past seven GMT. Uh, they'll be able to catch up on Facebook and soon we'll be putting them all up on our YouTube channel as well. So, yes. yeah, more to look forward to. Watch out in this Sunday's newsletter uh, because you'll be seeing the um, Ruin City available straight away. I believe there'll be uh, something for the Alamo and, more importantly, right now is live the Assault on Hut 13 for Conflict 47. Yeah, busy week. Busy, busy week. And a big one on Sunday for the newsletter. All yeah. right, Gary. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you, Steve. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, Good night, Bye, guys. everyone.